Michael Faraday, seventeen ninety one to eighteen sixty seven. This is the age of electricity. It is true that our era is sometimes called the space age, and some sometimes called the atomic age. However, space travel and atomic weapons, whatever their potential importance, have relatively little impact upon our everyday lives. But we use electrical devices constantly. In fact, it seems safe to say that no technological feature so completely permeates the modern world as does the use of electricity. Many men have contributed to our mastery of electricity. Charles Augustine, Count Alessandro, Hans Christian, and Andre are among the most important. But towering far above the others are two great British scientists, Michael Faraday and James Clerk Maxwell. Though the work of the two men was in part complementary, they were in no sense collaborators, and each man's individual achievements entitled him to a high place on this list. Michael Faraday was born in 1791 in New Newington, England. He came from a poor family and was largely self-educated. Apprenticed to a bookbinder and bookseller at the age of 14, he used the opportunity to read extensively. <clears throat> When he was 20, he attended lectures given by the famous British scientist Sir Humphrey Davy and was fascinated. He wrote to Davy and eventually got a job as his assistant. <clears throat> Within a few years, Faraday was making important discoveries of his own. Although he lacked a good background in mathematics, as an experimental physicist, he was unsurpassed. Faraday's first important innovation in electricity was made in 1821. Two years earlier, Oersted had found that the needle of an ordinary magnetic compass would be deflected if an electric current flowed in a nearby wire. This suggested to Faraday that if the magnet were to be held fixed the wire might move instead working on his hunch he succeeded in constructing an ingenious device in which a wire would rotate continuously in the vicinity of a magnet as long as an electric current flowed through the wire in fact what faraday had invented was the first electric motor the first device to use an electric current to make a material object move primitive as it was Faraday's invention was the ancestor of all the electric motors in use in the world today. This was a tremendous breakthrough. However, its practical usefulness was limited. As long as there was no method of generating electric currents other than the primitive chemical batteries of the day, Faraday was convinced that there must be some way of using magnetism to generate electricity, and he kept looking for such a method. Now a stationary magnet will not induce an electric current in a near nearby wire but in 1831 faraday discovered that if a magnet is passed through a closed loop of wire a current will flow in the wire while the magnet is moving this effect is called electromagnetic induction and the discovery of the law governing it faraday's law is generally considered to be faraday's greatest single achievement This was a monumental discovery for two reasons. First, Faraday's law is of fundamental importance in our theoretical understanding of electromagnetic magnetism. Second, electromagnetic induction can be used to generate continuous electric currents as Faraday himself demonstrated by building the first electric dynamo. Although the modern electric generators that supply power to our cities and factories are far more sophisticated than faraday's device they are all based on the same principle of electromagnetic induction faraday also made contributions to the field of chemistry he devised methods of liquefying gases and he discovered various chemical substances including benzene of greater importance is his work in electrochemistry faraday's careful experiments established the two laws of electrolysis which are named after him and which formed the foundations of electrochemistry 
He also popularized much of the important terminology used in that field such as anode, cathode, electrode and ion. It was Faraday who introduced into physics the important idea of magnetic lines of force and electric lines of force by emphasizing not the magnets themselves but rather the field between them he helped prepare the way for more many advances in modern physics including maxwell's equations faraday also discovered that if polarized light is passed through a magnetic field its polarization will be altered this discovery is significant because it was the first indication that there is a relationship between light and magnetism faraday was not only brilliant but also handsome and he was a very popular lecturer on science nevertheless he was modest and singularly indifferent to fame money and honors he declined a knighthood and also declined an offer to become president of the british royal society he had a long happy marriage but no children he died in 1867 near london